crazy. You find me on a super loud 150 headed for Todmorden. Now if I was doing this any other day, I would have gotten on a 158 slash 195 on the Leeds run. However, it is a Sunday. So to get to Tomadon, there's only the Blackburn trains available to catch. But I am going here today because the last time I visited Tomadon, I didn't have enough time to check it out properly before it went dark. I just had a moment of realization that I've left my other camera battery on charge at home. What's that? You don't want to get the train? Well then never gets old. Who wants a more side massage? I remember getting off at all these stations back in day two of exploring the northwest by train. It was like it was yesterday. Why is there a full bottle of Tango at Moston? Just pulling into the station now. Can't wait to go climbing up those hills in the distance over there. Well, it's a great day for it. The sun's out and it's a good job I did get the first train because the service after that has been cancelled. And I have noticed that lead services are running, but they don't actually start from the Wigan Northwestern. I think they start from Manchester Victoria on a Sunday. Also just wondering how you get into this waiting room here. Oh, there's a door, which is bolted shut. First things first, I'm off to get food because I've not actually had breakfast yet. Just come to Weatherspoons, which is pretty much right outside the station, to try one of the vegan breakfasts because I've been wanting one of these for quite some time now. Just had a wee. Not sure how long that's going to last me, mind you, until I need another one. But I am setting off now on me long walk. There is a little just here which I'm gonna pop into first because I'm gonna need some drinks. I used to love Monster Munch me, but I can't eat them anymore because they're not vegan. But in Lidl, I found some vegan ones. Hey, come look at this. I'm G Loves Trains and I've been to every street in the UK. And so the uphill clamber begins. There are a lot of walks you can do in Tomadon, but the number one thing I saw to walk to was Gadding's Dam. I am super soaked in sweat right now, but hopefully, eventually, by the time I reach it all the way up there, I will be able to cool down a little bit. Just popped on route to have a nosy at New Mill Dam. There are some ducks swimming around. It is very peaceful here. Right, let's carry on the climb. Hey, there's a bin here. What's in the bin? What the frick is that? Some white thing. What's in the bin? Last time when I tried to make my way up here, I made the mistake of following maps and it led me down there saying it was a one hour, 40 minute walk. Well, it wasn't, and I didn't end up actually making it to the destination. But since I've discovered my own way on how to get there via the correct walking route. Already this is the better route because we just passed a sign that points you in the direction of the dam. I really want my monster munch now. No toilet facilities, dam. Best thing to do is just aim for that pub and then there's a gate adjacent to it that leads you up to the dam. Made it to the top of the hill. I'm a little bit out of breath. It was hey, quite steep on a little section of it, but to be honest, I think I'm just used to walking at this point. I think 
they were the most uneven set of stairs I've ever walked upon but I've made it to Gaddings Dam and when you walk around it it actually takes you to the UK's tallest beach it is a diddy one there is a little bit of sand I'm gonna chill here for a bit and maybe even go for a dip in the water I've not brought anything to change into, so I may end up getting a bit wet here. It was quite difficult to walk on the surface because it's absolutely covered in rocks. I do want to go back in there though to have a swim. <laughs> That's one of the best experiences I have ever had. So refreshing, I just want to stay in there all day now. Fresh it, babies! I am literally dripping wet, but look at the view from here. This is gorgeous. I'm going to go for a little trek away from the dam now. Just about to walk over this little bit of flowing water that I found. It is like a dark orange, it's like an iron brew colour. You join me on a rock where I'm about to have a picnic. The items in my picnic include some roast beef monster munch, pickled onion monster munch, flaming hot monster munch and a drink of water. I think these flies are after me crisp. I've got monster much stuck in my teeth and the flies are following. I'm off to have a walk to Studley Pike, which doesn't look that far away, but yeah, I mean, it is. My battery charge is starting to drop now as well, so I really do have to watch that. Ah, oh, yes, I recognise this with that flowing water down there. This was the bit I walked up to last time. Which way from here? Oh, left, straight ahead. All right, I vote straight ahead. Getting closer and closer. Very close. I've touched Studley Pike. And why is there a spoon jammed in here? I think that's a spoon. Pretty much anywhere you are within Tomodon, if you look up, you will see this monument. It's actually odd to overlook the view from up here and not be able to see the pike. If you look close enough down there, you can see a railway viaduct. I've been through Chirk Tunnel in complete darkness. Why not walk up around them staircase in complete darkness too? Without doubt, my favourite thing about today was not only overlooking the flowing water, but actually being in the flowing water. I would recommend anybody to come to Tomadon and have a walk through these hills. The paths are rocky and full of poo, but it makes them all the more interesting. It feels great to get outdoors, clear your mind, and overlook such beautiful sights. And luckily, I've made it to the end of the vlog without my camera battery completely dying. Thank you very much for watching. Fuzzy bye!